What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the work nation as usual. How are you doing? It's nice. Uh, I want to share with us about the hand of God. And, uh, you hear believers talking about the hand of God, but first, remember, they tell you that God is a spirit that you cannot see. But now they are talking about the hand of God. Talking about how their God can do all things in their book. They preach it everywhere. They teach it anywhere. But looking at their situation, looking at their life, you know, they are suffering unnecessarily. Because you can't have an almighty God, an almighty Father that has all things to solve your problem or to prevent your problem or to help you out. And yet you're suffering. Even worse than those you call unbelievers, those you call atheists, those you call infidels, those you call um, doomed or antichrist or devil. But look at your life. So, when these people talk about the hand of God, they don't know what they're talking about because they're just saying or repeating the nonsense they taught them growing up or in their religious centers. But before I go ahead, I, 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 want, I want these people to think about their elderly ministers of God. Those elderly ministers of God are sick. They are suffering, some of them are di uh, suffering diabetes, some of them some lungs problem, different types. Of course, you know that one of the things that drove people into believing in God is medical problem. The problems they have, they tell them, oh... Uh, you know, this problem will cost a lot of money to be solved or, you know, uh, it's incurable. Then you see them believe in the lies that God, with God, all things are possible. There's nothing too hard for God to do. God can do this. God can do that. But in reality, God is not doing anything. Some of their elderly ministers of God cannot even attend church anymore because they are bedridden. Some of them bedridden and abroad. Some of them even in their house, but they're hiding it. They will not come to church and tell them our pastor is still sick or, or is sick. Or they will tell them maybe the son has taken over or maybe a new pastor and they keep going. The only thing they will tell the church is maybe when that pastor dies. Because if they say the truth, it will trigger some people to think, if my pastor is sick, and this pastor is the one that groomed me or taught me to believe that God can do all things. That means something is fishing. Think, my people. So these pastors, no matter how they preach the hand of God, there's this one that is, uh, people are sharing now on Facebook. He's laying on sick bed. Doctors, nurses, health care workers taking care of him. To, to keep him alive or to heal him, to, to help him recover. But this same pastor, we preach to you people, or used to preach to people Mark chapter 16 verse 15 to uh, 18 but from 17 he said that or uh, 18 said that they shall lay hands on the sick, they shall recover the sick shall recover they, lay, they are not laying hands on any sick to recover unless the one they, they, they fake and there is no sick person that can get recovered by prayer or by God intervention or by supernatural anything. There's no such thing as a supernatural healing. There's no such thing as a divine healing. It's impossible. It's impossible for God to heal the sick. It is impossible for Jesus to heal the sick. Remember when they, they said that when the Pharisees accused Jesus of uh, driving out demons. Jesus said that he did that by the finger of God. Hand of God, right? Jesus did that by the finger of God. <laughs> God fingered the sick. They get <laughs> As God fingered Mary, Mary got pregnant. So God fingered the sick. The sick get healed. In the book, only in the book, not in reality, they are sick. Those people you see praying, especially those black people, you see them praying, 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 claiming everything, is because they are sick. They don't have money to go to hospital. You see women, pregnant women, even at the, the, at the hospital where they go for atinata, they are conducting prayer, prayer there. They are praying. I will, I will deliver like Hebrew women. Oppression is not my portion. They are not saying oppression is not my portion because 
uh, maybe oppression kills, or maybe they they are afraid of dying out. No, it's because they believe they don't have money. I mean, they don't have money for their. It will cost them a lot. And you know, some some of you don't know this. Some men, after they pay hospital bill after child delivery, it destroyed their family. It destroyed their marriage. Because the man now begins to struggle. He don't have money. Maybe that's why many many of them use child bed to raise money. They tell people, my child, my wife delivered. Uh, okay, they're looking at your hand. How much are you giving to me? But these same people believe there is hand of God. This God is almighty. This God can do all things. This God created all things. They won't even let you to, you know, speak common sense into them. They keep ranting. Saying all that manner of nonsense they're saying. But there's no way you can see the hand of God. Look at what is happening in the whole world. People are suffering and dying. I mean, people that believe in God, people that worship God. You go to hospitals, you go to prison. People that are locked up, people that are sick, they still believe, yeah, there is God. You know, prophecy comes to pass. God, what is God? Do this. God is not doing anything for anyone, anywhere. There is no God. And some of, some of our people are, uh, that, that say they, they, don't, they are not longer practicing religion or they don't go to church or that, but they still believe in God. They still believe in God. God is not doing anything for them. They still go to work. They still struggle. They still hustle like everyone else. Yet they believe it's God. Then after they succeeded, they say it is God. God has done this. Join me to thank God. Join me to thank the Lord. The Lord has done it. What uh, uh, people say, I will not make it. You that is saying that, those people that say you will not make it, you know, shame on them. The same thing they are saying about you, they also think you are saying the same thing. Nobody say you will not make it. It is the fear they instill in you. It is the faith they instill in you. It is the hope they instill in you. It is the, the love they instill in you. It is the lie they instill in you. Nobody say you, can, you will not make it. Oh, they say I will not make it. That's why I left my village. But when you travel to abroad or to city, you begin to make it. Some of you believe if, if you're if you in Africa, you will never make it unless you travel abroad. Then you begin to say it's your village people. It's your uncle. Your no! Where is the hand of your God? If your God is real, if your God exists, then why are you still afraid of devil? Why are you still afraid of your own, uh, those you call evil uncle or your evil village people? Huh? Come on, think, my people. Think, wake up. These people are robbing you. Today, today is, is Friday, right? Many of you already went to mosque, or we go, depending on where you are living. Tomorrow is Saturday. Many of you will go to synagogue. Tomorrow, I mean, next tomorrow will be Sunday. Many of you will go to church. Where is the hand of God? You keep giving to these criminals, yet they're talking about the hand of God, but when they are sick, when they are in need, the hand of God is not upon them. The hand they say is upon them. He has, has anointed them. He reveals things to them. He uses them. But to solve their own problem, they are looking for money. Especially you that is going to them. I'm so glad that I'm free from all this robbery, all this bondage. No minister of God can eat my money again. No. Even if they visit me. For the fact I know they are ministers of God or they believe in God, they have to deny God for me to assist them. Even if I have all the money in this world, I will never assist them because I already know them. I know their belief. I know after helping them, they will give the glory to their God. They thank you, they are telling you, they don't mean it. They thank you, they are telling you is that you are stupid to let their God use you. They are telling you, you have, God have used you to do the, the, the work of God. And that's the main thing I want to share about us. Because white people are the ones that taught us this. And when you listen to their uh, politicians, all these white politicians, they still use God and Jesus. I'm telling you, I, I had one, one politician in America here. He was telling to people, you know, we are the, the hands, uh, we, 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 it's through us that God walk. We are the hands of God that people we experience. So that, that means we're supposed to be feeding the poor, doing all that. No, if there is God, you're not supposed to be the hand of God. Let God use his own hand. Use your own hand. You have your own hand. I cannot use your hand. And you cannot use... I cannot be your hand to anyone. No. He said, okay, no. I can give you something to give to somebody else. 
you give me something to give to somebody else. You have to give me that thing. Yes, I receive it from you. I give it. Not when I labor. You tell me that it's a God that give it to me. So I, that's why you see these beggars or all these uh, religious people. When they come to you, they said, you know, help me. God will bless you because they believe that God gave you that thing to give to them. The money you labored for. You know what you are doing to make your money. Yet yeah, somebody will come and tell you, yeah, it is God that use you or God is using you. You, the, where is this God? They say this God has hand and this God can do all things. Yet in their time of need, there is no hand of God to see anywhere. Some of them are police or not, they were arrested after all their prayers. They were arrested, locked up. God cannot free them. God cannot bring... Okay, some of the, those of you that are not in prison or in police cell, but you online. If you post what, uh, what is against Facebook uh, uh, community standard, they will block you. Your God cannot unblock you. The hand of God. They tell you the hand, God with your, his outstretched hands created the whole world. Well done. And God cannot stretch his hand and deal with those kidnappers. God cannot stretch his hand and deal with those Boko Harans. God cannot stretch his hand and deal with those insurgents. Those people making life unbearable to you. Those politicians looting the treasury and making your life miserable. Your God cannot stretch his hand to deal with them. But you keep praying, wasting your time praying. You put burglary proof all over your house. Some of, you, some of them hire policemen to guard them. Hire up the guard to be following them wherever they are guarding, shielding them from people. Yet yeah, these people will, talk, will be talking about the hand of God. The hand of God is useless. You are God, have hands. He cannot handle anything. God cannot handle your problem, cannot solve your problem. He cannot prevent any evil from happening to you. And the people that, that will do that evil to you are the same people, uh, people like you that believe in God. Because God is sending them too. God cannot use or send somebody like me because I'm above God. God does not exist to God. I have no God in me. I have no God around me. God knows that you know, wherever I am, it cannot exist. It cannot stand. It cannot, God cannot exist where I am. I am above God. So all of you that still believe in God have to, supposed to have a rethink. Where is the hand of your God in your time of need? Oh, no, no, no. You know, I, I, these are not crazy things our people do that drive me crazy when I look at them. Somebody suff who are suffering, suffering. Eh? Somebody who are suffering. Yet yeah, this person after, after the, 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 he managed to come out of that situation, he said, yeah, at last God has come. I, I share that song, Igbo song with you, uh, Igbo Mwene Madu. He said, this person said that, uh, you know, God has blessed Igbo people. Yet he's complaining that Igbo people has been marginalized in Nigeria or been maltreated in Nigeria. So where is that God that he said bless Igbo people? He said when Nigeria was suffering in um, bank, um, banking sector, you know, people, some people open bank to liquidate, take people's money and all that. He said people were suffering, suffering until God sent somebody from heaven this is nonsense our people believe they sing it they behave it you are suffering somebody saw you and pity you and help you or somebody that have knowledge how to solve that problem solve it he said god send that person oh you are god sent you are god sent some of them even think it's a blessing for them to have a child they say ah, oh god gave me this child. it's an angel god sent it. no there is no god and there's no hand of god doing anything for anyone your life is my evidence remember i've been saying this to you for years since 20 uh, 2018 i trust everything spirituality and religion everything god or jesus trust all those things I've been telling you you are the evidence of what i'm saying you are the, your life proves there is no god you are suffering proof there is no god because if there is God, God will prevent it. Yeah? See, people are going to Mass. And as I may share that post, if there is heaven, at least go and visit your father there. Our uh, father, creature in heaven. Okay, it's in heaven. Why can't you go and visit him for weekend, just for weekend? Come on, wake up, my people. Trust all these beliefs, all this faith, this love, hope. Those things are for slaves. Free yourself and live humanly.
enjoy your life because life is great. Gordon.